Welcome to Positive Preschool Tips. I'm Cindy. I want to share with you today my favorite preschool hacks that you can use with everyday household items. So let's get started. Hack number one, don't throw out your old eyeshadow. This is a really fun medium that you can use in the classroom for the children to draw with. Uh, what you can use is either the little makeup brushes that come with, uh, and you just can set this up in your art center, give the children some white paper that seems to work the best and show up the best, and they just apply the paint, the eyeshadow, sorry, eyeshadow, right on the paper. It's really pretty, it kind of has a little bit of a muted color. This might be really fun in the fall when the colors tend to be a little bit more muted. Um, if you don't want to use this little eyeshadow spongy brush, you can use a watercolor paintbrush or any kind of paintbrush. If you're using just the paintbrush, you want to be sure the paintbrush is just a little bit damp. Uh, it doesn't have to be super wet like you would with watercolors, but if you dampen the paintbrush just a little bit, uh, it does help apply the eyeshadow more evenly onto the paper. So that's a fun little hack that you can use in your classroom with just some old makeup that you have lying around. Hack number two. I love this idea. I have children and I have closets full of old trophies um, that I don't really want to get rid of, but they don't really want anymore. So a fun way to use these old trophies that you may have in your house is to use them as the quiet table trophy. So if you have tables and the children are sitting and maybe getting ready for snack or lunch, you can point out the table that's doing the best job and they get awarded the quiet table trophy. And you just can plop that trophy right in the middle of the table. The children are super excited. Um, even if it's a baseball trophy or a soccer trophy, doesn't seem to matter. They just love a trophy. Um, and that will also encourage the other children to sit really quietly so they can get the quiet table trophy. You could have a trophy for each table so that when the tables get quiet, then everybody gets to earn a quiet table trophy. So put those old trophies that you have stored away to good use. So that's hack number two. Hack number three is a hack that I uh, use with just spoons. You just need some plastic spoons. You need two different types of plastics. I happen to have both of these spoons in my pantry, so hopefully you do too. You just need um, one spoon that is white or um, you cannot see through. So one that has some sort of color to it, and then one that's see-through. And what you're gonna do, this can be a letter matching. Um, what I like to do is I put the capital letter on the colored, the white spoon at the top and put the, at the letter B. Then you put the lower case, hopefully you can see this, the lower case B at the bottom on the clear spoon. And you do that with all the letters and you put them out and the children just stack the spoons and they match the upper and lower case number. And they just line up the spoons. It's a really fun little activity. Keeps them busy and it's really simple to put together. Just items that you have hopefully in your pantry. So there's hack number three. My hack number four is an activity that you can use with styrofoam cups. Here we go. I have a couple of ideas to give you with the styrofoam cups. The first one I'm gonna use numbers. So you have your two styrofoam cups. On one cup, you're gonna write a number. I have the number seven. And then you're gonna write a series of numbers that go around on the second cup. This first cup is gonna indicate the ones or the units in numbers. 
and this is going to be your tens. This, put them in, you put it in, and then the children slide it around and read 17. Then they slide it around, 27. Slide it around, 37, and so on. This gives them the idea that the seven doesn't change on the units, and when we change the second number, that's when we're changing the tens and what that number looks like. So it's 47 to give them an idea of the tens and then the units. Uh, fun little activity that maybe you could do uh, at circle time with everybody. So everybody has their cup and you have everybody dial in 47 and see if the children can find 47. And then you have a good idea of whether they've got this concept or not. So that's a little number idea with the styrofoam cups. I also have something very similar with the letters. Um, what I like to do is uh, have a series of different lowercase letters on the bottom cup and then uppercase on the top cup. And they just slide around and match the lower case with the uppercase. And then they slide around to the next one and they find and then they match up. So you would have a series of uppercase letters on the inside cup and a series of lowercase letters on the outside cup and the children can just spin and match. Um, that's really fun. You could have several different cups and the kids could put them together and see which ones match. Um, you also could do this probably all together at a group time and have children, everybody match the letter C, everybody match a letter, tell me what letter that you matched. So that's fun. If you get um, a more advanced group, or if you're teaching children that are getting ready to start sounding out words, this is a cute way to do a word family. So you've got the at, A-T, at, which is the word family, at, on the outside cup. And on the inside cup, you're just writing a bunch of letters that the children will slide around and then sound out for F and at, fat. And then they slide it around to the next letter and make the next word, k, at, cat. They can even be nonsense um, words. It, it's just about sounding them out and understanding that this letter family, at, is always the same. And then when the first letter changes, then the word sounds differently, b. At, bat. This is really fun if you have children that are beginning to uh, sound out words. So that would be fun. Now my last hack, I'm going to use paper plates and ping pong balls. So you just get a bunch of ping pong balls. And on plates, you're going to write out the letters. And the children will dig in the ping pong balls and they'll find the letters that match. So here I have, I don't know if you can see that, I have the letter B on this ping pong ball and the letter A. They can be in a big bowl and the children are picking out the ping pong balls and then they're just putting them in the plate of the letter that matches. Um, you also could do uppercase and lowercase that so they're matching uppercase lowercase. I have a video that I do that I use ping pong balls and I call it alphabet soup where there's uh, a matching of letters and uppercase and lowercase. Um, I go into a little bit more detail so I'll put a link to that video somewhere here so if you want some more information about matching using ping pong balls um, letters with upper and lower case or matching letters together, you can hit that link and it'll take you over there. So there you have it. Those are my preschool hacks, things that you could maybe have lying around the house that you can use uh, for your classroom and for some fun learning activities. Please subscribe or give a thumbs up. I also really appreciate, I had several uh, subscribers ask specifically about topics for future videos and I found that really um, very flattering and also really helpful in a way to give me an idea of what it is that you need. So if you are looking for ideas about a specific topic, please shoot me a comment and I'll see if I can put together a video that will address those concerns.
So have a great day and have a great preschool day. Bye now.